It was a working weekend on the campaign trail for Vice President Kamala Harris and running mate Tim Walz. And tonight, there's new polling on the presidential race as we inch closer to Election Day. CBS's Skylar Henry joins us from the White House with more on that. Skylar, good evening. Hey, Jerika, good evening to you. It is a battleground blitz in this tight race as both campaigns focus on key topics, including the economy, reproductive rights, and foreign policy. Democratic vice presidential nominee Governor Tim Walz was back in Minnesota Sunday for the state fair ahead of another busy week on the campaign trail. I think people are saying that we're getting to talk about Minnesota across the country, talk about the economy here. Recent polls show more Americans have a favorable view of Walz than Republican vice presidential nominee J.D. Vance. I think he's a great um, gentleman and a good leader. Uh, he really engages in uh, every community. Several top issues remain on the minds of voters, including foreign policy, reproductive rights, and the economy. The Harris Walls campaign released a memo Sunday as it looks to expand voter support through its ground game, opening more than 300 offices and bringing on 2,000 staffers in the seven battleground states. The Trump Vance campaign says its battleground operation is rolling as the former president looks to lay out his vision for Americans over the next nine weeks. We feel very good about what our message is, which is economic freedom and economic opportunity for everybody. So Though one of the nation's largest labor unions has yet to endorse either ticket. Half of our members are Republicans, half of our members are Democrats, so we have to serve uh, all of our membership equally. We want the opportunity to sit down with Vice President Harris. Now, President Biden will join Harris for a Labor Day event on the trail in Pennsylvania tomorrow. It's another battleground state. It'll be their first joint campaign event since the vice president became the Democratic nominee. Former President Trump heads back to Pennsylvania later this week. Jerika. Skylar Henry at the White House. Thank you.